The doctrine of hell is one of the common objections to Christian theism. If the God of the Bible sends people to a place of torture and punishment for all of eternity, then, allegedly, that God does not seem loving or just. How could we worship such a God like that? A 2019 article by one Josiah Neufeld exemplifies this objection in the Canadian magazine Broadview. The title of his article is, When I Lost My Belief in Hell, My Faith Began to Unravel. Just over a year ago, my third daughter was diagnosed with amblyopia, specifically accommodative estropia, highly technical scientific terms. She has difficulty seeing out of her right eye, and it slowly began to atrophy, which was causing her eye to turn inward. As I was reflecting upon apologetics, this conference, and even that condition, I couldn't help but thinking that all of us, to some degree or another, struggle with amblyopia. Maybe not of the eyeball, but of the mind. We form Due to the blurriness with which we see, we form inaccurate beliefs about the world. We only see through a glass dimly. Now, in some of these cases, maybe we can just patch our eye or we put on prescription glasses and we can see the world clearly for what it is. And sometimes people help us to do this. And we can be corrected in our vision. I myself need to admit of a shortcoming from a failure to see and subsequently understand clearly in the conference program that each of you should have because I know you all picked up your bags. In the conference program, I placed a label for each representative of the four views. However, it was pointed out to me that one of these labels could imply a false picture of another one of the positions. So I won't mention which one that is, because I'm hoping it will be some great discussion to be had over the next uh, however many hours we have together. Suffice it to say that I'm still learning myself, and I'm glad that you are here with me to learn this weekend. Today is St. Patrick's Day, so if you don't have green on, you can pinch yourself or have your neighbor pinch you. Uh, I do have some green that I put in. <laughs> well, what do you know? <clears throat> So, so I thought I would open us with a prayer that is credited to St. Patrick, uh, but which we can't have certainty. But there is what scholars call a genuine tradition about this prayer, a lorica, which is a prayer of protection. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through a belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness, of the Creator of creation. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth and his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion and his burial, through the strength of his resurrection and his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of cherubim, in obedience of angels, in service of archangels, in the hope of resurrection to meet with reward in the prayers of patriarchs, in preachings of the apostles, in faiths of confessors, in innocence of virgins, in deeds of righteous men. I arise today through the strength of heaven, light of the sun, splendor of fire, speed of lightning, swiftness of the wind, depth of the sea, stability of the earth, firmness of the rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's way to lie before me, God's shield to protect me, God's hosts to save me from snares of the devil from temptations of vices, from everyone who desires me ill, afar and anear, alone or in multitude. I summon today all these powers between me and evil, against every cruel, merciless power that opposes my body and soul, 
against incantations of false prophets, against black laws of pagandom, against false laws of heretics, against craft of idolatry, against spells of w women and smiths and wizards, against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul, Christ shield me today, against poison, against burning, against drowning, against wounding, so that reward may come to me in abundance. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me. Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me, Christ in the eye that sees me, Christ in the ear that hears me. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through a belief in the threeness, through a confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Amen.